Hello friends, in this video I'll be explaining my reasoning for why I believe Cameron is the main protagonist in Ferris Bueller's Day Off and why Ferris Bueller might as well be the antagonist. Let's go. What any movie needs, what any movie or even a story needs actually, is a protagonist, an antagonist, and some sort of conflict. To the average viewer, the conflict starts when first Bueller picks up Cameron and Sonya skips school without getting caught by the principal or their parents. The way I look at it though, Ferris's friend Cameron is bullied and forced to do things against his will that his so-called best friend Ferris Bueller wants him to do. And Ferris pretty much stays the same throughout the entire movie, no character development whatsoever. Cameron on the other end changes a lot. He goes from feeling sick and miserable all the time to facing his problems independently and maturing dramatically. Don't get me wrong though, Ferris Bueller changed a little bit too because after Cameron's dad's beautiful car gets demolished, Ferris wants to take the blame for it, but then it all comes back to Cameron once he says he'll take the blame instead because he doesn't want to hide from his father anymore taking full responsibility for everything. So if you had to ask me what the conflict in this movie is, it's actually a classic man versus self story involving an internal struggle between a character and themselves. And Ferris Bueller doesn't help this struggle go away, instead he increases it by driving Cameron's father's car, talking back to him, and even sending him into a shock coma by wasting the mileage. In conclusion, even though Ferris Bueller is technically the main character, he just makes Cameron's struggle with reality 10 times worse for him, which means Ferris is the real villain of this movie. And Cameron is the protagonist that I, and I think most people, will root for. Thank you, and goodbye.